Time now for Ask the Expert. Recently, health headlines have been on the measles and the flu, but there's a new pneumonia vaccine out for adults. Dr. Jennifer McKinnon from the Medical College of Wisconsin joining us live this afternoon. I had pneumonia when I was in high school, knocked me out for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Was this vaccine around then, or is this a new thing that's available now? Well, there is an older vaccine, not quite sure what year you were born, mm -hmm. but there is the pneumonia vaccine called a pneumovax, and that's been around a while, like 15 years or so. Okay. And that one has um, been given traditionally to people over 65 and anybody under 65 that has a chronic medical condition. But the new shot's called the Prevnar 13 mm -hmm. or PCV 13. It's the pneumonia shot that kids have been getting um, since 2010, and now for adults, it was approved. So who should get a pneumonia vaccine? Whichever one that you're, right. you're, you're going to get, who should be on that list? So the pneumovax is everybody over 65. That's the older one. And right. anybody with a chronic condition, including smoking and asthma. The newer shot is everybody over 65 as well, but chronic conditions that are more immunocompromising. So not a smoker or asthmatic, but certainly somebody who has like chronic kidney disease mm -hmm. or very immunocompromising like HIV infection or on chronic steroids, those types of patients would qualify for the newer vaccine before 65. What makes this vaccine important? What makes it important is pneumonia is a leading killer um, and also one in 20 people that get just your pneumonia could have it go into the bloodstream or form um, more complications that affect the kidneys or even um, meningitis. And so we really want to prevent pneumonia from doing that. So this vaccine is very effective and the new one adds extra strain coverage. It's another 13 strains of pneumonia that are now covered. Are there any side effects to that vaccine? Um, not really. I mean, the side effects mostly are muscle aches and local redness and tenderness. Um, any um, anaphylaxis or reaction severe to diphtheria in the past, which is in the Tdap vaccine, the tetanus vaccine, then right. that person shouldn't get the new pneumonia shot. But otherwise, the benefit really outweighs the risk for this one. Is this something that you can just ask your doctor about next time you go in and have it covered by insurance, or is there, do you need to meet some special yeah, conditions? If the PCV13 was recently in February covered by Medicare and Medicaid. Okay. Um, because over 65 qualifies for this now. So that's all your Medicare type patients. So that was a big accomplishment to get that coverage. But below the age of 65, definitely to qualify, you'd have to have immunocompromised condition and then your insurance should cover it. All right. Doctor, thanks for coming in. Have a question for any of our experts. Here's how you do it. Ask the expert at TMJ4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at that number right there on your screen.